Hello and welcome to our week 23 prenatal yoga series. Thank you so much for joining me and <laughs> our guest, Doggy Hudson. Um, so I hope you are feeling nice and connected and ready to stretch and just restore and relax your body. So sitting up nice and tall, coming into a comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. You can even start in child's pose or lying down, but we're just gonna ground and center here. So feel free to close down the eyes or just take your gaze low. Rooting into the earth with both sits bones. So maybe you wanna pull the fleshy parts of your hips away from those sits bones so you really feel grounded and connected. Sitting up nice and tall, but not too rigid. We're just gonna place both hands on the belly and breathe. First, just observing the breath. Noticing where it is and where it goes in our body at this moment. Without judgment. And then slowly starting to deepen the breath elongating the inhale and really lengthening the exhale breathing in and out through your nostrils if you can Deepening that belly, breathing even further so we feel the belly really expand on the inhale. And the abs come back together on the exhale. So we're gonna take these into more deep diaphragmatic breaths. So we're gonna take a nice deep inhale as the belly expands. Exhale. Push all of that air out and hug the baby in. Inhale, expand. Exhale, hug the baby in. For these deep diaphragmatic breaths, inhaling through the nostrils, exhaling through the mouth. Push all the air out. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale, hug baby in. Push all the air out. Exhale. One more, just like that. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Beautiful. And then coming back to stillness, just your natural breath, kind of recentering, sitting up nice and tall. Let's change the cross of our legs here. We're going to place both hands on our knees and we're going to take some nice wide circles forward and all around the back. So hip circles leading with the chest, going through as wide of a range of motion as you can. And just listening to your body and doing what feels right, what feels good in your body. If you find a little sticking point or a spot that's extra tight, feel free to hold it there. <laughs> Get a nice little stretch out of it. And then we're gonna reverse that direction, leading with the heart, all the way around to the front, circle it back, hug the baby in. So we're almost tucking that pelvis under on the way back. A little bit of a rounding through the spine and then we expand through the heart. So just take it nice and slowly. One more. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to extend those legs, 
straight out, corner to corner. One heel to one corner, one heel to the other corner. Sit up nice and tall. Legs are fairly straight, slight bend in the knees. We never want to lock out the joints. We're going to inhale, left arm up, reach it over to the right. Holding here, feel free to come down to that elbow. Or maybe up on the hand is just good enough for you. Listening to our body always, our divine wisdom. Looking down at the hand, down at the floor, and then rotating that arm and the gaze up to the ceiling. Opening through the chest, opening through the shoulder. One more deep inhale. And on our exhale, sitting up nice and tall, coming through center. Inhale, right arm rises. Exhale, stretch to the side. Nice, melting, deep. Stretch to the side. Rotate the head to look to the floor. And then look to the ceiling, opening up, encouraging that chest and shoulder to open slightly. We don't want to be rounded forward. We want to be opening up. One more deep inhale. Exhale brings us back through center. And we're going to move with our breath this time. So inhale, left arm up. Exhale, over. Inhale through center. Exhale, over. Inhale through center. Exhale, reach. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful. Walk those hands out to the front, in front of our body. Feel free to let the head, neck, and shoulders hang loose. So feel free to shake your head no, shake your head yes. If you've got yoga blocks or pillows nearby, feel free to use those to bring the earth up to you. So that's a nice little way to modify to make this a very restorative practice. Feel free to bring them as high as you like or stretch into the floor if that feels good. This should be a good feeling practice all around. You should feel a little uncomfortable at times, but generally, generally good <laughs> the whole time and especially afterwards. We don't want any sharp or shooting pain, so if that's the case, then listen to your body and take a child's pose. And no, no forcing, don't push yourself. We're just here to meet our body where it's at and give it love and grace every step of this pregnancy journey. Take one more deep inhale. And on our exhale, we're going to try to melt a little bit further down toward the floor. Releasing head, neck, and shoulders. One more deep inhale. And our next exhale walks us back up to center. We're gonna bring those legs in. Press, use your hands to press off of the floor. Coming forward into a nice wide yogi squat, malasana. So ideally, both heels, or we're striving to get both heels in contact with the floor. So if you find your heels up like so, that's okay. But I encourage you to take a little bit wider of a stance 
and sink those hips down using the glutes, using the core muscles to really weight your hips down and encourage those heels to come down to the floor. You should feel like you can wiggle your toes in this position. Once you're there, another modification would be a good yoga block or prop, pillow, couch cushion right under those hips. So then we can encourage the hips to open and we don't have to worry about balancing. But that is up to you. Pause the video if you need to go grab a prop. And we're gonna press the elbows against the inner thighs. Hands come into prayer position. So we're gonna open those hips and we're gonna hold here for a few breath cycles. Letting gravity help us stretch down to the earth. This is really good as we come into our third trimester to do a couple times a day <laughs> to encourage those hips and that pelvic floor, the whole pelvic area to open nice and naturally nice and relaxed as we keep the chest up upper body is relaxed and just gently encouraging those knees wide maybe you even feel your lower belly your core muscles working a little bit to keep you in this position that's great hugging baby in all the while nice deep inhale and on our exhale we're going to plant the hands Straighten the legs, hips up to the ceiling, and we're just going to kind of sway those hips side to side. Good. Get into it. Really shifting those hips. Side to side, find that movement, let the hips dance. And then when you're ready, finding stillness, we're going to grab opposite elbows. And again, letting gravity, let us hang. Really let gravity do the work here. Let your head, neck, and shoulders release. Breathing deeply. and then release the hands. Plant the hands, come up to a nice flat back. Feel free to grab a yoga block or a pillow. Plant the left hand in the center of our mat. Right arm opens to the ceiling. Gentle twist. And release, replacing that left hand with our right hand. Left arm peels up to the ceiling. Gentle twist. And release. Beautiful. We're going to toe heel those feet together or hip width distance apart. Pedaling out the, the feet. So right knee bends, left leg straightens and then switch just like we do in our downward dog. One leg bends, one leg straightens. Feeling a nice deep outer hip stretch. One more on each side. And then we're going to plant the left hand again in the center in between our feet in front. As we twist the right arm open, our left leg bends and our right leg stays straight. Right leg straight, left leg bent, a little twist. And we should be feeling this on that IT band or the outer hip, that glute medius muscle, and maybe all the way down the leg. Last big inhale, exhale, release that right hand back to the floor or your yoga block and we're going to bend the right knee, straighten the left leg as the left arm heels up, 
Gaze follows that top hand. Pressing up and out of all your fingertips on the floor. So we're preserving the wrists. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release. Release the head, neck, and shoulders. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Maybe even give a gentle tug on the head to straight down to the floor. It kind of creates some separation in that cervical spine. Step your feet a little bit wider here. Then we're gonna bring our hands to our hips and gently, slowly stand all the way up. Left arm sweeps up and over. Keep that right hand right at your hip. Standing side bend. Then we're gonna reach our chest toward the floor, nice flat back. Rotate around to the front, flat back, other side. Rotate, left hand to left hip. And up and over, other side. Right arm sweeps over. Nice flat back. Sweep the arms all the way around. Side bend, right hand to right hip. Standing up all the way. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna take those hands to the hips again. Turn the toes in toward each other slightly. So slightly pigeon toed, we're gonna hinge at the hips. Nice flat back as we fold all the way. Clasp the hands behind the back. Palms reach toward the ceiling. Opening up the shoulders and chest. Breathe. And then release the hands. Plant the hands down on the floor. We're gonna walk those right toes out a little bit further away. Toes turning out to the side of your mat. Coming down into our skandasana. So right heel stays in contact with the floor as the left leg straightens. So left leg stays straight, right heel in contact with the floor. Just like a malasana, if your stance is too narrow, if your right leg is too close, you're gonna be here and you're not gonna be able to get that right heel down. So just try walking your right foot out a little bit further. The goal is to keep the head, neck, and shoulders, the chest nice and open, nice and tall, instead of rounding and crouching forward. So we're staying nice and tall here. Two deep inhale breaths, two deep exhale breaths. And then we're gonna walk our hands along the mat to the left side, switching sides here. So placing our weight in that left heel, right leg straightens. Trying to weight that left heel into the floor. Pointing the right toes if you can, chest, shoulders, shining the heart forward. Two deep breath cycles, connecting to that deep belly breathing, hugging baby in on the exhale. And then we're gonna walk it over to the right. One breath cycle. Walk it over to the left. Try to keep those hips low on the transition. Really opening up the hips today. Walk it over. One more time. Left side. And coming back into our straight legged forward fold. Straightening both legs. Hinging at the hips. Go ahead and release the head. 
head, neck, and shoulders, so everything is just relaxed, just hanging. Breathing deeply here. Maybe you reach your hands back through your legs. And then walk those hands back forward. We're gonna bring the heel toe, the feet in just, just a little bit because we're gonna come back to that malasana position. So you want your legs nice and wide. Find your sweet spot. Bring the chest up nice and tall. Hands come to prayer, heart center. Press the elbows against the inner thighs. Let your hips weigh down with gravity, weigh down those heels. Let's connect to that deep diaphragmatic breath again. So together we inhale through the nostrils. Exhale through the mouth. Hugging baby in. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale through the mouth. Pull belly button to spine. One more. Inhale. Expand the belly. Exhale. Hug baby in. Beautiful. All right, let's come all the way down to our seat. And we're going to stretch the outer hips. Now we've done the inner, inner hips. So we're going to take a fire log pose. So right leg crosses over left leg, shins stacked on top of each other, sitting up nice and tall. Lengthen through the spine as you inhale. Exhale, we're just gonna hinge it forward, just ever so slightly, <laughs> listening to the body always. But it doesn't have to be a huge movement. You'll feel it pretty immediately on that leg that's lifted, so our right hip should feel the more intense stretch. Just let those hands fall where they may. Try to relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Again, you can bring your blocks or your pillows back in. Feel free to rest your head. Nice work. When you're ready, coming back up. And we're just going to plant the left foot on the floor. Keep that right ankle crossed over. We're gonna take a figure four stretch. So feel free to stay up on your hands. If this is enough for you, that's wonderful. You can also lie back. Um, a lot of times starting in the second trimester, doesn't feel really great and it's contraindicated to lie flat on your back. So if you have pillows <laughs> or yoga blocks, you can support yourself on an incline and stretch through that figure four stretch. You can leave your foot on the floor or feel free to thread the needle look, linking your arms through your leg. Breathing into any space that you feel the tightest. So for me, that's my right outer hip. Coming back to that deep belly breathing. Every chance we get when we relax into a pose or when we hold a pose for a few breaths, it gives us the chance to really open and lengthen those muscles that are being most deeply stretched. So the longer we're here, and the more we can deeply connect to that belly breath, the more chance we give our muscles to open and lengthen. And then we'll feel revived and restored <laughs> after this practice. A couple more breaths here. And when you're ready, 
Go ahead and return to a seated position, mamas. If you are 23 weeks like me, it's sometimes better or it's getting better to roll to the side and then sit up versus trying to go <laughs> straight up. I'm sure you're figuring that out on your own, but always remember safety first, roll to the side if in doubt. <laughs> and we're gonna come to the other side of that fire log pose. So left shin stacks on top of right, sitting up nice and tall, finding length in the spine, and then we just gently hinge forward. Maybe grabbing your pillows or your blocks and relaxing over. One more deep inhale. And on our exhale, rolling up, we're gonna keep the cross of our legs, keep your left ankle crossed over your right leg as your right foot finds the floor. You can lean back here. This could be enough of a stretch for you, or if you'd like to come back with me into that reclined position, elevated, upper body elevated, so we're being safe for our bodies and for the baby. We want to be supported. That is the name of the game in the second and third trimester especially. Body should feel very supported. Relaxed, never in distress. <laughs> Stress-free as much as possible for, for baby's continued optimal growth and health. So doing these stretches once a day, 30 minutes a day would be fabulous. If you can fit it into your schedule, doing some gentle stretching like this every day to bring those cortisol level down, levels down would be a fantastic practice to be in. Encouraging the, the body to relax. And knowing that it's within you, just to tune in to that deep belly breathing and to find that relaxation, that peace from within. Two more deep breaths. And then when you're ready, we're just gonna gently hug that knee in, release the legs, roll to the side, and press yourself up into a comfortable seated position, as supported as possible. Another good way to support yourself in a seated position is blocks or pillows underneath the knees. Sit up nice and tall. Bringing our hands to heart center and our eyes closed or gaze low. We always close our practice with a sense of gratitude for yourself, for taking this time out to practice this beautiful, loving act of self-care. For our baby growing strong and beautiful, healthfully inside of us there along with every step of the journey too. And for each other, that we're able to have this community online and practice together whenever we please. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next week. Namaste.